Utah state officials recently changed the law associated with SAGE testing, making it easier for parents to opt their children out of the end of the year civics exam. What will this do for graduation rates, student evaluation scores? How is testing today affecting the students of the district? More and more parents are opting out their students. This can have an effect on the school as a whole. I'm fine with it. I think it's good that parents can easily, easily opt their students out. I think it has a few flaws in it, and so I do not like the SAGE testing at all. I guess they should be in charge of, of their, their students' education, but at the same time, the, the test itself I don't think is that big of a deal. Um, the problem is the way that we look at testing uh, often is that it's, it is a big deal and it doesn't, we need to look at it in the sense of this is just one way to figure out how much we know. As a district level for evaluating students, some believe students shouldn't be able to opt out. If you're given a test, you know, that's for the district to find out where you are, um, I don't think that you should have the option because if you are able to opt out, you know, then there's a lot, a lot of the students and a lot of the numbers will go down, which can, you know, cause problems and, you know, it just doesn't become an important test. Many things can happen from students opting out. We talked with Principal Bart Peary what his thoughts of students not taking the end of year tests. I'm not sure it's a real good indicator of all the things that we're learning, but I think it's better than what we've had in the past. It's hard on us because I think a lot of the ones who opted out are some of our better students, so our scores naturally go down. A lot of people think that just because they opt out, there are no consequences to the school. So what do you think of SAGE testing? Are students' evaluation scores going to be dropped because everybody opting out? This has been Mitchell from SNN.